Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The Tata Airbus deal for the manufacturing of C295 aircrafts and the recent impetus by government of India in aerospace manufacturing is attracting many foreign players such as Boeing, Lockheed Martin and GE to name a few to set up their manufacturing plant in India. We have been reporting about all these news. India is on the verge of transition and in future we will see more Indian and foreign companies collaborating in aerospace manufacturing as significant amount of work is being done and in progress to set up infrastructure, MRO facilities and availability of skilled manpower which will drive the industry. Embraer, a Brazilian aircraft manufacturer, is well known name when it comes to commercial and business jets. The DRDO's Letra Mark 1 AWNC is also based on Embraer ERJ-145 aircraft. The firm is studying the development of next-generation turboprop aircraft with rear-mounted engines and a jet-like passenger experience. The rear fuselage-mounted engines will provide a quiet cabin and allow bridge compatibility with e-jet cross-section. The rear engine mounted turboprop is one of the several next generation designs. The firm is aiming to design 7290 c turboprops with the same cross section as that of e-jets. The jet will also consume 20 to 40 percent less fuel and emit 40 percent less carbon. In its bid to find potential manufacturing partners for its proposed turboprop design, Embraer says it is in active discussions with India and other regions globally. In the field of aircraft manufacturing, there are two firms in India which have vast experience which are Tata and HAL. The Brazilian playmaker wants to launch the project soon and would ideally like to see the jet enter into service later this decade. Embraer is looking to launch the project sometime in the middle of next year so that the plane could enter service around 2028. Embraer predicts the world needs around 11,000 new aircraft with up to 150 seats over next 20 years. The replacement of aging aircrafts will account for 57% of all new deliveries while 43% will be used to grow markets. Now this is a very good opportunity for India to further boost its aerospace industry. These aircrafts can also be used for military applications such as development of ISR platform such as ISTAR. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.